Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine here, and today I have a project gun or problem gun, depending how you look at it. Um, and we're going to be going over it today. But before we really dive in, if you could do me a huge favor and please subscribe, that definitely helps the channel grow. And of course, share, that also helps. And of course, if you would like comments and all the other great stuff, if you have any questions, always reach out. Now let's go do a quick safety check. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of get an overview of the gun real quick with the mag in it. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the safety check. So nothing in the magazine. Let's see if I can get a good angle in there. Nothing in the barrel. And we're gonna shoot the fridge and the fridge lives one more day. All right, so safety check. The this is a Yugoslavian, essentially, M92. Uh, it used to be an SBR once upon a time, but it actually, right now, is a carbine. And the reason why is because this is uh, permanently attached. This fake suppressor is permanently attached to the threads. The threads on the Yugos are actually 26 millimeters uh, versus... Or, uh, 20, yeah, 26 millimeter threads versus the 14. Um... 14, which is most um, AKs usually have. Um, the AK-74s have anywhere from 22 to 24, depending on which uh, country of origin and variant. But anyway, as I was saying, this is my problem gun. I just got this recently. I don't know if you can tell. There's a little bit of rust up here. The night sight's missing. There's a little more rust over here. And <laughs> the reason there are zip ties here is because in the Yugoslavians, um, for their SBRs and pistols, they have a little detent here. Uh, and if you find one or have one, please let me know, and I'll be happy to send you money if you'll send me it. Because um, I'm currently looking for one, but uh, Zestava USA, USA might be able to help me out, hopefully. Um, but this little detent is the gas block detent lug that puts pressure on this, when you leave this closed. Uh, the other thing it's missing is a rear sight. Um, so yeah, lots of, lots to do. As you can see, a little bit more rust. So again, I'm hoping this will not be a, uh, a problem gun, just a project gun. But let's go ahead and take a quick look inside. Now this uh, originally is a military um, kit. And so what they did is they chopped the original receiver and you never get to see that again. And then they sold it as is. Uh, it is the military barrel, as far as I can tell. And all the parts are matching, with the exception of the receiver. Um, in here, we've got the trigger and all that stuff. Now, the main difference between some of the commercial kits is this kind of star, basically, thing. And I don't know how well this is coming in. Most of the case don't have this, but the military surplus kits for the Yugoslavians do. And so that's a good sign. Uh, as far as I know, everything I've been able to see and from the previous owner, uh, I believe this kit probably was not fired a lot or, or, or a virgin kit. was never actually used or built or anything like that. The, the wear on this is pretty much nothing. So that's, uh, that's kind of nice. It's desirable. Um, unfortunately, at some point... Uh, you can see here, they removed the original finish off of this firearm and parkerized it. And honestly, it looks like ass. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as that goes. I may just leave it as is, just depending on how uh, it goes, if this thing's really big of a big problem, or if it's not too much of a problem, maybe I'll go out and um, get it media blasted and then get it actually blued or something like that, something nicer. Um, so the zip ties will hold this in place and it's not going anywhere. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to show this thing. Oh, it's a 2005, um, manufacturer and they call this a, uh, M92 as well on here. Um, so it's, I don't know if how well that's coming in. Oh, it is coming in pretty well on the camera. But anyway, so that's the kit. It does have the underfolder stock, which is kind of nice. And I'll just show you what it looks like. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is either installed incorrectly or... If it's just not lining up quite right, but it doesn't sit completely flush, and because it's not sitting completely flush, this isn't closing all the way. I think 
it's just not quite installed quite right because already one of the uh, pins has fallen out anyway from the uh, the um, underfolding stock. So anyway, this is a gun I might SVR later, but I uh, just wanted to update you with an interesting little project gun I've got going on right now. I feel like I have a lot of project guns going on right now. Oh no, the uh, receiver I forgot to mention is a U.S. Armory's uh, receiver. And then I forget who the original builder was of this thing, but uh, basically somebody back in the day who used to build halfway decent AKs. So hopefully this thing works out. I'll probably shoot it this weekend, give you maybe a quick range update. But anyway, this is the Mad Marine signing off. Take care.